Lights are out. Away they go. Formula 3. They fire it through. Dave Oliver getting a great start as they head their way down into turns 1 and 2. Ethan Olden slots up into uh, second place as they head their way out of turn 2. Then that looks like uh, Paul Dawson, the next one through. Clint Clark in there as well. Clark Lucky Gordon goes through, sitting in the mid-pack there at the moment. Him and Kenny Crouch are already into a bit of a battle as they go down into gum trees and make their way through nicely. Dave Oliver already starting to get on with it. Mark Lucky Gordon in there for ninth place and making up a spot there in Siberia. So uh, going very well, of course, uh, riding for mixed bike and car tyres and PM lubricants. As they head their way through the left-hander at seven and then down into Cops, into the far section they go. Wow, I've just been told here that after a lot of hard work here at the track yesterday, Clint Clark had to drive all the way back to Brisbane to uh, repair the bike and came back this morning. So that is a massive effort. Good on you for that team. As they head their way down the front straight away and Clint Clark slots himself up into uh, third place there now as they come across the line. Paul Dawson, the next one through. Lee Holmes, Taylor Ralph, Anthony Carroll, Simon Dixon, Kieran McGowan, Kenny Croucher. Mark Gordon has just gone back a couple of spots on that lap, but um, we'll see what happens as he, uh, he comes through. Back in there, just in behind the, uh, the 24 bike of James Irvine, so uh, he's having a, uh, a bit of a dig there with him, so hopefully he will improve on that, that position. But uh, Mark just out there enjoying his racing caught up with him once down there at uh, Speedy's Motorcycles where he's getting his bike dynoed and um, he was pretty happy with it all. So uh, he's definitely enjoying his racing. So he heads his way back. I think he's having a bit of a, a battle there with Gary Dixon now as they uh, head their way back up through the left-hander at seven. But it's still Dave Oliver out there in the lead at the moment and uh, he is uh, really starting to stretch it. Looks like Clint Clark all over the back wheel of Ethan Olden now as they go down the Kangaroo Corner. Fairly tight section after coming off a very, very fast uh, right-hander. And it brings them back up onto the Pirelli front straight away. Dave Oliver goes through, fires off another quick lap of 124.71 for Dave Oliver. Now Clint Clark moving up into second place, Ethan Olden back to third, fourth place is still uh, Paul Dawson as they come through. Let's have a look, see how Mark Lucky Gordon's going. I'm doing a bit of a, uh, a, a side cast for him for his uh, video and he's sitting back there in uh, 12th place at the moment. His best time so far is a 131-211 set on that last lap. And he's doing a great job there now. So he uh, fires it through the left-hander there at five. A, uh, a bit of a gap to the rider in front. And then uh, Gary Dixon right on his tail. So uh, those two will no doubt have a great battle over the next four and a half or so laps. And I know you can't hear us, Mark, but geez, I like your T-shirts, mate. The old uh, Team Lucky Racing. I could see myself in one of those. <laughs> All righty. Back round onto the front straightaway once again. Dave Oliver fires it through. Up the hill he comes. I know why Dave Oliver's on fire today. I'll tell you what, he had some of this Indian stuff last night, last night that would put anyone on fire. So uh, he was scoffing it down. He sent some back here to the pits a little later on, mate. I had one mouthful of it and said, whoa! <laughs> Obviously he enjoys it. Back around they come once again. And still Clint Clark 
there in second place, Ethan Oldham, Paul Dawson and uh, Lee Holmes rounding out the top five. Taylor Ralph, another one of our Tiggy Bay riders, is up there in the sixth place on the spare bike. Unfortunately, she had a little bit of a moment a couple of weekends ago down at uh, Eastern Creek. So they've uh, put together the spare bike for her while uh, her Moto 3 is being uh, repaired. And it won't be long until we see her back out on the Moto 3. Simon Dixon there in 8th place, Anthony Carroll, Kieran McGowan, Kenny Croucher, James Irvine in 11th place, Mark Lucky Gordon still holding on to that 12th place, just improving a little bit on 131.16, his quickest time so far, 4 laps remaining in this one, Gary Dixon right on his tail, so there's not much in between those two as they uh, fire their way down through that fast section. 3 laps remain now as Dave Oliver fires it up the hill the Vindaloo King fires it down into turn number four Clint Clark still holding on to second place and some very very close racing going on for the miners Kieran McGowan in a bunch there Kenny Croucher in Involved with that one as well as James Irvine and here comes Mark Lucky Gordon under the bridge now the SV650 sounds very nice indeed as he got to, gets it uh, wound up it's like he's uh, just been tagged down there by Gary Dixon so he goes back one more spot but now he fights back through the left hander at five then hard under breaks down into Siberia so Mark enjoying his day no doubt ok green flag out up here at turn 3 so we've got a, uh, a rider stop down there at turn 1 um, hopefully uh, he looks like he's ok maybe it's just a maybe I didn't see or hear anything through the radio so that rider there he'll uh, get himself sorted Dave Oliver fires it back up the hill with a couple to go fighting to keep that uh, front wheel on the ground out of turn two running the new VDB motor he's had a couple of dramas over the uh, the time but I'll tell you what he's got a thing sorted now Ian Kirsten doing a great job getting that bike prepared and of course don't forget um, Dave wants to head back to New Zealand so they've got uh, a thing happening there so uh, check out with Kirsten still Paul Dawson there in uh, fourth place they head their way underneath the bridge Mark Lucky Gordon heads his way out of turn two uh, under the bridge at three and he's uh, finally got Gary Dixon back so he's back up into that one that spot but some good dicing going on for minor places there Taylor Ralph in a, uh, a monumental battle with a bunch of around about four or five riders there and uh, she's going very well indeed so uh, Lee Holmes, Anthony Cowell, Kenny Croucher, Kieran McGowan and James Irvine all in that bunch with Taylor there and Taylor's running in around about sixth place at the moment as they head their way down through that far section of the circuit rest of them charge on through Dave Oliver under the bridge now on his final lap and he has got a commanding lead over Clint Clark there at the moment still Ethan Olden holding on to a, uh, a very lonely old third place then behind him is Paul Dawson, Simon Dixon, Anthony Carroll the next one through then that bunch of riders right in amongst it all there indeed Lee Holmes Taylor Ralph now just uh, back to ninth now so just dropped a couple in that uh, last lap Kenny Croucher just in there behind her behind Kenny Croucher here comes the lucky man Mark Lucky Gordon fires it under the bridge Gary Dixon just in there behind him then followed up by Mick Train on the number four PF Honda so going very well Sarah Fairbrother going very well also she's in the 32's which is not bad at deed 
Another one of our female riders here this weekend. The rest of them now go through. Checkered flag goes out now. Dave Oliver takes the win. Great stuff there for him. That makes it three out of three for the VDB. Second place in there, Clint Clark. A good comeback there for him.